and you guys are listening to a higher elevation podcast i'm your host blake and today i'm going to be talking to you guys about jupiter returns so if you were born anywhere uh i'm not exactly sure of the dates but i know it was in 1994 maybe possibly late 1993 you right now are going to be going through your second jupiter yeah second jupiter return and it'll be jupiter and scorpio and so, when, before we start on this, you got to talk about uh, what a return is. And most people, when they even think of this, they think of a Saturn return. And a, a return, in general, is just when a planet returns to the exact same position it was in the zodiac wheel when you were born. And for it's a lot uh, quicker, obviously, with the moon. does it every month. sun does every year. Your birthday. Uh, so on and so forth, but uh, Saturn takes 30 years, 29.5 years to make a full Saturn return. Jupiter is about 14.5, pretty much, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm not, not 14.5, I'm thinking of Saturn opposition. Uh, every 12 years, pretty much, about 11.6 years is for a Jupiter return. And so about spins a little over a year, or yeah, a little over a year in every zodiac sign. So, what does it mean, like for one, to have your Jupiter return? Now I got to think of Jupiter, and this is expansion because it's the big planet it is expanding, gas is swirling around. But it is higher thought philosophy. Think of uh, Gemini third house ruling. Uh, little community and small chat and just like the basics of communication and thinking critical thought but then Jupiter is understanding things not just thinking but understanding and uh, philosophy and higher mind and wisdom all related to the ninth house Sagittarius and Jupiter so while you're probably watching this is because you wanted to know about your Jupiter return because you are about to be, uh, or you are Jupiter and Scorpio, and this is your second return. And the second return is pretty important in terms of Jupiter returns because your first Jupiter return, most people aren't very, like, for one, aware of astrology at all, or uh, st you're still understanding yourself. Jupiter return, I believe, is something that definitely propels you into uh, adulthood or a teenagerdom, <laughs> I guess. It definitely starts making you critically think about the world around you. Uh, I guess I use critically think for Gemini in the third house, but I'm meaning like as a philosophy, you know? You, uh, it's, it is, yeah, it's just about, um... Depends on where it is in your chart, but Jupiter is about a Jupiter return will deal with uh, higher wisdom, understanding new things, new revelations, expanding your thought, expanding your view of the world, or even maybe to an unfortunate event, you might be expanding your view to things that you did not want to know about. I have... Uh, I know people with uh, their first Jupiter return wasn't always the greatest. Actually, some pretty tra traumatic things can happen. It just depends on what's aspecting and exactly uh, what it is. And Jupiter <clears throat> in Scorpio is not the easiest place because Jupiter is such a high energy of a. It gets in. It's very. I want to say stubborn, but it's stern about things and it believes very much in what it. Uh, and what it is trying to represent. And when you put Jupiter in Scorpio, Scorpio is all about probing and getting to the bottom of and investigating. And it's things that are very unknown that uh, you go to make them known. Especially with Jupiter being there, you seek to understand the unknown or, uh, I mean, yeah, 
pretty much finding the unknown. But I'm not talking about just a certain unknown. It depends on where you have this. A lot, a lot of your Jupiter returns theme will depend on uh, what house it is in. That is how it will manifest in your life. But it will be a deep investigation into oneself or into matters that you want to investigate in the outside world. And when I mean investigate, I'm just more trying to convey a, a sense of understanding. You'll have like a compelling to know, or you will have an awakening. Uh, Uranus is more affiliated with like spectacular awakenings, but it is it is definitely an understanding of the world. And maybe not so much of the world because that is a little more Saturn because that's reality and stuff. But it is definitely, um, you will come out thinking differently after your Jupiter return is over. That is your thoughts and possibly religious beliefs and faith uh, will definitely change or be strengthened. It just depends on what's in your chart. So I would say go and look what is aspecting Jupiter. Do you have trines, sextiles? Good, uh, sextiles to Jupiter would re represent opportunities that you could have this year. You know? Just look what the planets they're with. It's, it can, that's just where it gets very complicated, and I can't be... I'm trying not to be super vague, but I'm still trying to convey uh, understanding in this. So, I guess I could give you an example of me. I have Jupiter and Scorpio in the 10th house. And 10th house is the house of publicity, or your public. And 4th house, the opposite, is cancer, the sign of uh, private life. 10th house, public life, private life. And it is all about uh, your reputation. And not so much, and it is associated with career, you know, Saturn, Capricorn, but it is the, the form that you have put yourself in this world is what 10th house definitely represents or what people see you as not meaning how your first house Aquarius is how you come across or anything of that nature but it is your reputation and what are you known for like when you think of a famous movie star and like the first few words that come to your mind that is their 10th house of reputation like what they are what they've done you know and I would say for me, I definitely tried starting uh, this podcast, and it was more, way more geared to, uh, I would say absolutely geared to conspiracy theories, and uh, I started off a little light, and I only got to nine episodes. This was uh, about uh, May, April of 2016, and it just, it just kind of fell on its face, and it didn't have the right equipment and the know-how to get things going. But so I just stopped cold turkey for about eight months, and I slowly got into it, and then I just had this sudden urge uh, around June to really get the podcast going again. I even stopped uh, studying astrology because I wasn't sure if I was hoodwinking myself, but then I just had this slow revelation of little things in my life uh, kind of guiding me right back to looking into astrology, and then now it's just... My understanding of it has definitely increased, and I am just entering my Jupiter return as of two days ago, October 10th, and it will be, Jupiter will be out of Scorpio, uh, it's no, really November 8th of 2018, but, so, with me, uh, getting, I've always had astrology, I never, like, dismissed it, but it was something I just didn't feel was super, I, didn't, I just didn't know what to do with it these last eight months until I was about to restart into this podcast and I just had this urge and this sudden uh, need to get out there and into the world and get my I guess reputation known and that is obviously whether I like it or not going to happen this year because I'm going to continue making videos and it is my Jupiter return and my people will know me for what they see on here and that just depends uh, their feelings will depend on you know, themselves in general, but I am putting myself out here, and I guess what could you say that uh, uh, I'm doing? I'm definitely putting out my 
higher-minded philosophical or philosophical ideas, and uh, I get kind of deep into them. I want to uh, tear them open so you guys can uh, understand them on a more practical level. And I didn't even really understand this until a couple days ago that I was just kind of blown away about, wow, yeah, that is what my, uh, so far, Jupiter return will probably be something about, or I could be, you know, I need to look maybe more into it. Who knows uh, what bad aspects I could have uh, on this, and maybe I could be vilified or infamous, and everyone thinks I'm a, a fucking loser, <laughs> you know? It, it's just, uh, those are... <clears throat> Some things, that's when you get really specific into it. But my uh, reputation will be definitely uh, highlighted or expanded. You know, my public image. That's what I could say. And, you know, it depends on what you have, what house you are. If it's in the fourth house, look look at home life. You know, things in home life could be changing to open thing, new things up. If it's in your first house, you might be deciding to travel somewhere. Jupiter relates to Sagittarius, ninth house, travel, foreign lands, not of Pisces meaning foreign lands, of like mystical places in the unknown, but like a pl going to far away trip, like long trips, foreign countries. Mercury has to do with short trips, going on like a short week vacation, and that could even be somewhere far away, but real short coming back, that's all still within your third house. But staying, long trips and long, long stays are dealing with Jupiter. Understanding wisdom, life experience. Not in this way of Saturn teaching you lessons, but gaining wisdom and knowledge, enlightenment. Those are things you can look for. And especially uh, with people like me, Jupiter and Scorpio, a lot of uh, things will be coming to the surface. And it just depends. Just depends on what it is. So look at what house you have uh, this in. Take a couple key words from the meanings that you grab from each house, or from the house that it is in, and apply those. Apply those with what I've kind of told you about Jupiter and Scorpio, and what you already believe and know about Jupiter and Scorpio, and you could probably piece them together. I guess I'll real quick end on a way to look at your first Jupiter return is I was raised very religious. And right around then, when I was 11, 12, I uh, was very man imaginative, and I played with all my toys and did all my... I mean, obviously you can see I'm a little bit of a nerd. I'm never going to give that, give that up. But I definitely still like to play out scenarios, and I was still very much a kid, and it hit me hard with having to grow up and then liking the opposite sex and uh, wanting to impress them and leave my old life behind and think newly of the world and that may be my and that also entitled uh you know like leaving people who no longer I, w I was no longer interested in uh certain things and that also re uh, included a lot of my religion and people i knew in my religion and Kind of believing that they didn't have exactly all the answers that I was assuming. And it's a 12-year cycle. And you just look at yourself every 12 years with your Jupiter returns. And I have completely changed. I was on one end of the spectrum very to where I would wear a rubber band and slap it on my wrist if I was cussing. You know, <laughs> kind of religious. To now I am... I'm, you know, fucking smoking weed, and I guess I said that pretty crass. I mean, I'm not trying to be a dirty stoner, but, I mean, hey, I definitely am way more, I wouldn't say enlightened in a pompous way, but I am definitely more understanding of myself and of what I believe in the world and what I believe energy and spirituality are and my views on religion have done a complete 180 and that is and I'm very curious to see how my Jupiter return will be now this is also partly why I wanted to do this video because in a year's time I'm going to once Jupiter is 
going into Sagittarius. I'll probably do a video on Jupiter and Sagittarius and what that could mean for your Jupiter return for you people. But also how much I have changed within this year because it is an intense year of change or revelations and not so much change of like drastic surprise and like chaotic change like Uranus, but of uh, understanding and personal growth in that sense or personal understanding of wherever this falls in at your chart. So I'll be doing an overview here within a year about how I have felt my Jupiter return has affected me. But until then, guys, I'll be doing many, many, many more videos for y'all. And I think the next one, probably going to just explain the houses. So give a nice overview of the houses. I They are important in, when, in the way they manifest things in your life is the reason why I like them. And I am definitely a whole sign house kind of person. Uh, if you don't know what whole sign houses are, I mean... Look it up. I'm not going to explain it right here. Maybe I'll even do a whole sign video. I, I don't know. But it's just a lot simpler, and I feel it's quite accurate, you know. And I know a lot of uh, famous and well-to-do astrologers are also adopting this or have adopted it well before I've even known about it. <laughs> but uh, that's the way I do houses, and it, it's quite simple. So... Try that out for your last little thought. But thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. You know where to find us. Facebook, Instagram, WakenBlake44. That's my plug there. And iTunes, Podcast Addict, and Stitcher Radio. And YouTube will be there. And I'll be doing a video uh, with Cody also, my co-host. And probably talking about occult themes in the game Destiny. The video game Destiny. There's definitely some very... Uh, very astrology, astrology too in there. You know, not really, not them talking about it at all, but just uh, certain characters going to a moon of Jupiter and how it is the last, like a place full of light and higher wisdom is like so much correspondence that is, I can't believe. If it wasn't planned, I don't know what the hell. They're drawing this from somewhere, obviously. But All right, folks. Thanks for listening to me once again. Take it easy, and bye-bye. I'm going to be an astronaut.